Okay, I didn't have time to make a top 10 video this week, so I thought I would tell you guys about a game that I missed in my top 10 mobile RPG list. The game is Dungeon Hunter, which is the next iteration of Gameloft's wildly successful mobile action RPG series. I don't know how I missed this game. I think its release wasn't quite announced when I made that video, but it is coming out this year, so I obviously wanted to mention it. Dungeon Hunters isn't by any means my favorite game. You guys know how I feel about action RPGs, but there are a few things Things that I really like about the game, especially when you compare it to Diablo Immortal. So I thought I'd ramble a little bit about it this week with you guys as I'm sitting here next to the Rocky Mountain National Park. You can't quite see the mountain because it's too bright already. Early in the morning, the sun is up, but it's the mountains are behind me snow capped it's gorgeous okay first off let's talk about the series which has been going on for 14 years unlike the earlier versions the latest of which was developed by gameloft dungeon hunters is being developed by goat games with plans to make the best and most advanced game of the series unfortunately there is no footage of the new game yet so this video will be using footage of dungeon hunter 5. in addition to bringing in new features and updated graphics they plan to bring back the familiar RPG action that fans have come to love from the franchise. You'll be slashing through waves of enemies while gathering tons of loot as you level up and get better gear. The game is not an open world because each new location is fixed with cutscenes in between them to reveal the storyline. As you level up and get more powerful, each location can be replayed at a harder difficulty to get better loot. One thing I like about Dungeon Hunters is the inclusion of the five elements, light, death, nature, fire, and water, which counter each other. Fire does more damage to nature, nature does more damage to death, etc. Some people are not impressed by stuff like this, but I love stuff like this because I love strategy games. Speaking of strategy, my favorite part of the game is the raiding feature. You can raid other people's dungeons that they have set up to trap you, but sometimes you can really mess with their strategy, and this is where there's some skill based and some strategy based. Now, of course, if they're way more powerful than you, you're not going to really have much of a chance to do anything, but if it's a close match, it can be a lot of fun because your skill can can kind of mess them up. And I like the reverse side of this as well. Like in my dungeon, I try to bait people into taking out my simple units, but I've placed a healer behind them. And I think that by the time they realize it, my ranged units have already done so much damage that they don't, basically it's over. So I like that element of trying to like subterfuge and, and throw people off. So far my tactics working pretty well. It feels a little bit like Clash of Clans where you set up traps in your base and throw people off while you're trying to attack other people's bases for loot. But it's also quite a bit different. In Clash of Clans, everyone has the same stuff and they're just organizing it differently. Whereas in this game, you pick different dungeons and minions and how they work together and it feels like more diversity to me. Okay, now let's compare Dungeon Hunter to Diablo Immortal. Diablo Immortal has received a lot of hate in the way that people talk about it, but a lot of love in how many players play the game and even more love in how much they are spending in the game. Which I think this is just because it is the biggest game of the genre, which is why I wanted to compare the two of them. Even though they are both action RPGs, they're very different games. Dungeon Hunter focuses on fast-paced action with clear stopping points. The elemental system in Dungeon Hunter adds that extra layer of depth and tactical decision-making to where no tactic will beat everything. Unlike a lot of these other games where you find this amazing tactic and then everyone does it. Dungeon Hunters has simpler and cleaner graphics, making the game a much smaller download. It's clear that the developers have been putting a lot of effort into making the game visually appealing and engaging. The game has a ton of different game modes. Some of these are the same as Diablo, like the PvP arena, but also there's a few unique ones like raiding other people's dungeons, which I was mentioning earlier. On the other hand, Diablo Immortal focuses on a rich lore and storytelling within the Diablo universe. It bridges the gap between Diablo 2 and Diablo 3, offering players a chance to uncover the mysteries of Sanctuary. With its iconic classes and familiar gameplay mechanics, Diablo Immortal appeals to the fans of the franchise and to those who are looking for the mainstream game feel. The game has incredible graphics, but that of course requires a lot of download space. It also has a more open world feel, but because it's an action RPG, it is still fairly lacking compared to a normal RPG. Honestly, I think action RPGs are just never going to be able to give that open world feel we experience in something like an MMORPG. Lastly, even though Dungeon Hunter's user interface looks more like your typical mobile game, I would say Diablo 
Immortal is significantly more pay to win than the Dungeon Hunter series, since I'm sure you guys have heard that the game requires almost $100,000 to max out a character. So while both games have their merits, I'm currently more excited about seeing how Dungeon Hunters plays out when it comes out later this year. I apologize again for missing this game in my top 10 list. I think that the release date hadn't been announced yet when we were making that video, but regardless, I apologize anyways. My goal is to have every good mobile game represented on this channel so that those of you who watch every video will know about every good mobile game out there. Now, if you don't like action RPGs, no need to be a hater about this game. I have videos on so many other types of games. This video is for those that like action RPGs, which is a huge amount of people, and I didn't want them to miss out on one of the bigger action RPGs coming out this year. Now, it is not out yet, and so sometimes people are like, ah, oh, I watch these videos and then I wanna go play it right away. So in the meantime, if you wanna go play Dungeon Hunter 5, it already is out, but that game is from 2015, so if if you're really wanting Dungeon Hunters, I have put a link on where to follow the progress of Dungeon Hunters. Okay, so now we're going to talk about action RPGs in general. A lot of you guys know that action RPGs are not my favorite because the hack and slash feel, while very therapeutic, isn't my thing. I don't want to go into a therapy session with video games. I want to accomplish something. And so for me, strategy, being able to kind of plan something out is a lot more fun and skill level, like being able to grow my skills. Actually, I'm a little bit lower on skill. I'm a little bit heavier on strategy. I know a lot of you guys like skill. So to me, defining a game, whether or not it's a good mobile game or not, really depends on how much strategy and skill ratio there is to these other things. Now I do factor in that therapy element that is more into action RPGs. But if you're on my channel, you're going to naturally see action RPG show up a little bit less. That's not always true because I do have a team of people working with me that have input. And so it kind of balances out this channel you'll see a lot of content from a lot of different people that have different desires so that's what i want we want to have lots of different game types represented action rpgs lean towards the therapeutic mind-numbing hack and slash side like diablo immortal is a great example diablo immortal has a lot of elements to it that are like you will level up and then you mash the buttons the skill does have a factor in it you can you know rolling and those different things affects how well you're going to be able to perform in Diablo Immortal, and that's true in Dungeon Hunters as well. And in most action RPGs, they should at least have some element of skill level. And then strategy plays a big part. It's usually not while you're playing the game, but like when you're, you know, customizing your equipment, you're trying to tie things together. In my opinion, the best action RPGs have a lot of customization and trying to pair things together. That's why in Dungeon Hunters, the things that I like is the dungeon rating because there's a lot more of that pairing different elements and damages and all of those things to maximize, you know, the damage that you do and make it harder for people to take over your dungeon, get the loot from your dungeon. That allows you to get more loot from other people's dungeon. I like that element of Dungeon Hunters. That's why I focus on it. But I realized that one of the things that people really like about action RPGs is that therapeutic element. And I think Dungeon Hunters does a really good job. I actually kind of like that each time you play a mission, it's got a start and a finish. It's real simple. There's real clear endpoints because if you're going for therapy, in my opinion, you don't want to just be able to play for like four hours straight and never think, oh wait, what have I done in my life? Why haven't I eaten lunch? I like the fact that there's like, it's a done thing and then I can go eat lunch and then I can come back and play another game. I like that they increase, even though it's a very mobile kitschy thing to do to have these stars here where it's like, okay, get more stars, upgrade in the harder levels, play the same mission over again. But if you're going for the therapeutic element that an action RPG kind of leans into, then I think this is perfect because you know what you're getting into. You can see how it's harder. You can see your improvement, which is a big deal for me, being able to see that I'm progressing in the game, that I'm getting better gear, being able to get those stars, that completionist in me, being able to be like, yeah, I got all these stars. I'm, I'm advancing in the game. And then, you know, it's got the storyline in there. I don't know. It just feels, like, but you can skip it. It's just, if you're going for therapy, the therapeutic element of an action RPG, that's one of the things that I really like about Dungeon Hunters. I think they lean into that really well. And in that way, I would say that Dungeon Hunters beats Diablo Immortal. Diablo Immortal has that 
you know, some really good elements of the therapeutic, just going through the things, but the open world feel, which is normally a real plus in games, in my opinion, in this case, because of an action RPG, I would say is not a plus. But then again, I'm, again, I'm not the best person to, to talk about this because I'm not as big into action RPGs. So I'd be curious in y'all's comments if you're like, yes, I like start and finish, or if you're like, no, I want each scene to kind of bleed into each other, and I just want to kind of keep going through the game. I want to not know that I'm playing a game. I just want to get lost in the game and never come up, and if I don't eat, then I don't eat. So I want to know your comments. Let me know. Okay, well, that's it. Thanks for letting me ramble about this game for a little bit as I sit here in the Rocky Mountains. It has been amazing being out here. My kids are having so much fun being able to roam because we usually live in the city with a really small backyard, and so they're getting to kind of explore the wild, and we go on hikes, and it's just been really good for our family. Nevertheless, we still are working on more top 10 videos, hoping to have one out every week, and we will have one out next week. All right, guys, I'll see you next time. <laughs>